and I thought we are never gonna find a table. <laughs> but I knew we just had to keep looking and then we would find our table. <laughs> yeah, so we turned the corner in the store and there it was, our table. <laughs> and that's, that's how, how we, we got, got our table. table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Honey, you're leaving? You haven't even sat with the table yet. I'm taking Cassandra to the carnival. I'll sit at the table later. But the party's just getting started. Uh, he didn't even sit with the table. He didn't even sit with the table. Such a fun party and such a great yeah. table. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to go though. I promised my roommate I'd pick him up some of those tiny tacos from the cool food truck. What? Oh, let him go to that cool food truck. Hey, just be careful. I heard it's supposed to sprinkle later. What? But this is LA. It's just what I heard. Bye. Goodbye. So who wants to take a picture with the table? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One at a time. Hey, where are those tiny tacos from that cool food truck? Couldn't get them. 10% chance of rain outside. 10%? What if I want to go outside later? You can. Just know you might get sprinkled on. I'm not gonna mic it sprinkled on. What's that sound? Sound our cameras make when it's not a camera of the internet. You mean a phone call? God help us. Don't answer it. I don't want to listen to a voicemail. Hello? Oh, it's my commercial agent. Oh, great. See if they represent me. We're the same type, and I'm threatened by your talent. So, great. An audition. That sounds good. Oh, no. What is it? 4 p.m. Santa Monica. Santa Monica on a Friday? I'll check the traffic. I'll be honest. It could be a little tough to get over there, but sure, I'll be there. Yeah, what is it, uh, office coworker? Just love you, friend? Shirtless at the beach. Play it small. Oh no, what? My Kickstarter. I may have to give some of my own money to something only I care about. Ah! Casey? Casey, what is it? What is it? Casey, what is it? Casey, what is it? A box. What's in it? What's in the box? Ah, oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Headshots. 125 headshots. Oh, no one even uses those anymore. Shut up. Did you hear that? What is that? Zombies? Worse. It's our neighbor's improv practice group starting. Two hours of this? I can't take it. I don't care if there is a chance of rain. I gotta go hiking! Ah, 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 my ankle! Oh, go! Go without me! Go to CrossFit without me! Jordan, pick up anything from Yogurt Land! Yes! Yogurt! Ah. It's too hot! It's too hot! It's too hot in the valley! It's so hot! It's too hot in the valley! Why do I live in the valley? It's too hot. You should move. It's so hot! It's like two or three degrees warmer than in LA! I had a great time. Thanks again for that cotton candy. It reminded me of you. Soft and sweet. I should go. It's almost dinner time. Good night. Good night. Cassandra? I love you. Thank you. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Oh, darn it, Dave. Why'd you say that? It was way too early to say that. I didn't say happy birthday. I said I love you. Man, you laid out your cards way too soon. Now she knows you love her. Probably thinks you're a buffoon. Well, that's the end of that. Dave? Yes, Cassandra? I love you. Hey, man, it's just like... I should go. Okay. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Hey, man, that's not even a complete thought. Gah, she said she loved you. All, All you, you had to do, do was say it, say it back. back. 
or anything normal. Oh, great. Here comes her dad. Play cool, Dave. Hey, Dave. Heck of a game you kids played last week. Thanks, Mr. Bettendorf. Well, uh, have a good night, young man. Yeah, good night. I love you. All right. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Oh, why would I say that to him? Now he's gonna tell Cassandra, so he's just gonna think I say it to everybody. Uh, the kid's probably confused. He's young, he doesn't know if he likes guys, if he likes girls. You gotta be more open to kids these days, Don. No. He probably thinks I'm gay. And then he's gonna tell Cassandra, and she's gonna think I'm gay. Uh, but I gotta let her know I'm not. How? I know. I'll tell her I love her. Come on, Don, your own brother didn't even come out to you until he was 27 years old. He was worried how you react. You, you gotta get out there, grab the bull by the horns, give the kid a hug. I'll just look at her and I'll say, Cassandra, I love you. I'll take you to a gay club. Great. Great. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I said it once to her and twice to her dad. I told him I'd take him to a gay club. And I said, great. I don't even know where regular clubs are. Why am I still on the porch? She's still on the porch. Delivery for Don Bettendorf? Let me pay for that. It's the least I can do tonight. Sixteen dollars. Here's twenty. All right, thanks. Thanks. I love you. Love you too. What the fuck? Okay, bend down so I can get the table in there. Now say table. Table. Oh, hey, there you are, you little sneaker, sneaking around. Hey, did you see the table? Oh. Yeah, I got it a gift, too. Oh, wow, thanks. Hey, wait, where's your friend, the one you're always hanging around with, the really good-looking one? I think we got away with it. Yeah, turn on the TV, see if there's anything about it on the news. ABC's Daniela Bellotta reports. Frank, it appears to have been the perfect crime. The robbers made away with a quarter of a million dollars. I spoke with Broderick Thompson, a teller working at the time of the robbery. Well, there were two guys. Uh, the first guy who came in was a real professional. He had full control of the situation. Uh, and then the second guy stumbles in, and he's got a face like a rotten salami. Oh, he was not wearing a mask. No, no, he was wearing a mask. Um, you could just tell by his awkward body that he was no looker. Now, hey, to your knowledge, has a that's me. I'm the second guy. Look, it's, it's perfect, man. They don't know what we look like, all right? We're fine. When the first robber came in, he had these beautiful blue eyes, like Paul Newman and Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Now, how about the other man? Uh, the ugly one? Yes, yes, the ugly one. Uh, he was a disaster. I mean, it was like somebody gave a gun to a walrus. What the fuck was that? What do you mean? It's perfect. They don't got a single thing on us. They're tearing me apart. Shut up, shut up. They're about to show the drawings. Information, the Kruger County Police are releasing oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? That, that drawing, it kind of looks like me. That's because they drew you as a human. Officials are asking anyone with information on the whereabouts of this duo that police are now calling Iceman and Garbage. Iceman and Garbage? That's it. What are you doing? I'm calling them. No, no, come on, man. We just made it with $250,000, okay? Don't mess this up. Think about the gazebos we could buy with that money. It's four or five really nice gazebos. Just sit down. Here at the scene, one thing is certain. Robber number two sure seems like a piece of shit. Oh, that's it. I'm calling them. No, no, they can't say that stuff about me. And they can't say the word shit on the local news. Don't blow this. No. Hello? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, this is Robert. No, oh, get. No, this is someone who's at the scene of the crime. Yeah. Hey, I just want to let you know you got robber number one right on. But robber number two, he's getting a little bit of a bad rap. I mean, sure, he's no Fred Savage. Who is? <laughs> what I can tell you is that robber number two is robber number one in my book. Please, open up! I can't go back to prison, man. I can't. Ah! Iceman! Oh my god. Oh, it's disgusting. First time seeing a dead body? And it's talking. Uh-oh. Oh, who the hell is that? Don't tell him I'm not here. It's just the pizza guy. Great, thanks. How's your night? Weird. I think I'm in a relationship. All right. Hey, bring her over. You can take a picture at the table. Okay. 
Wanted to see me? Mr. Mananock, here at Rutgers University, we take cheating very seriously. I'm sorry, but we have no choice but to give you a zero on the exam. No, I, I can't get an F on this test. My parents will kill me. Yeah, well, it's a test, Mr. Mananock, and you cheated. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it now. What if I suck your dick? I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. If you wanna boost your grade legitimately, I suggest you go home and study. I will, I worked so hard for the rest of the semester, but this test this is worth a third of our overall grade. I need to improve this score, just, just let me suck your dick. Do you, do you wanna suck my penis? No, ugh. I just know that all guys love getting their dick sucked. So I'm going to do this so we both get something we want. Me, a better test score. You, your dick sucked. I don't want that. Do you not like getting your dick sucked? Yeah, I like it just fine. I just don't want to get it from one of my students. What if Anne Hathaway was one of your students? Would you let her suck your dick? Mr. Mandernock, I am a married man. What if your wife lost her mouth? Lost her mouth? Yeah, your wife lost her mouth and Anne Hathaway, who's one of your students, offers to suck your dick. Do you do it? Maybe. What if, uh, what if I put tape across your wife's mouth and I dress like Anne Hathaway? You clearly just want to suck my dick. No! No, I don't, okay? I have a girlfriend who I love. I've been dating Kristen for three years. After college, I plan to marry her. I just know how awesome it feels to have your dick sucked, all right? So, yeah. Come on over here, big boy. I'm on the SUD. Get off your knees. What, are you going to stand on this table? Mr. Mannernock, you have long ago crossed the line of the student-teacher relationship, and I have no choice but to call the dean. No, wait, don't call the dean. What if... Well, oh, I can't believe I'm about to offer this. What if instead of calling the dean, what if I suck your dick? What do you mean you can't believe you're about to offer this? You've been offering to suck my dick this whole time. No, this time it's different. This time I'm offering to suck your dick so you don't call the dean and tell him I offered to suck your dick. That's the same thing. Fine, then call the dean. But tell him I'll suck his dick. In fact, lead with that. Tell him Nick Mandernock will suck his tasty dick. Then you can tell him all you want about the cheating or whatever else. I I'm not going to lead with that. Why not? You always lead with good news first. That's not good news. Mr. Mandernock, sit down. Look, you will never ever suck my dick, all right? That is the end of the story. That is it. Th I have to take this. Hello? What? Oh my God. Yeah, I'll be right there. Is everything all right? My wife. She lost her mouth. I'm Anne Hathaway. I'm here to take your class. Oh, now you gotta let me suck your dick. Fine. But you gotta go. So our oldest is away at Rutgers, and I kept saying we've got to get a table. So we did, and here it is. <laughs> yeah. I love your speedo. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Like, hey, ooh, you gotta go to bed. Oh. I saw that. Our youngest hates going to bed. <laughs> Did you get a picture with the table? Oh, you got to. Oh, you got to. Come on. Come on. Why do adults get to stay up and I have to go to bed? I wish I was older, older, older. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. Who are you? Ah, I'm an old man. I'm ah! an old man. Ah! What is he screaming about? <laughs> wow. <laughs> such a great party. And such a great table. We really should be going. Okay, bye. Drive safe. Bye. Mm, you know, I'm really not sold on this table. I don't, I don't think I like this table. And I don't like this table. 
Everybody get up. Okay. We don't like the table. Let's get up. And let's get up. We don't like the table. And we don't like this table. We don't like the table. We don't like it. We're go. getting up now. Just go. Please. Hurry up. And we didn't like it. I, we didn't, we didn't like, like it. We didn't like it. Thank it. you take so much for you. coming. And please take it with take you. It. Did you bring the table Excuse tomorrow? me, ma'am. Uh, life on the open road. <laughs> this is awesome. Got any sevens? Nope. And gin. Ah, I was playing go fish. <laughs> Boy, this is fun. Yeah. Nothing beats an RV trip with a good buddy. You said it, pal. Thanks again for driving. I'm not driving. Wait, I'm not driving. Ah! Ah! Oh, I thought I left this in El Paso. Hey, did you hear about the RV family that drove off the cliff? Yeah, heard about it on the radio. Ooh, fancy. Wait, why aren't you driving? Well, I thought if this RV was gonna crash, I'd rather be hanging out with my friend. That's a nice sentiment. Well, should we play another game of cards? Look! Ah! There's a mouse in the RV! No, that's not the thing to freak out about! Look out for that cliff! Bar! You're about to set up my cliff bar! Oh, that was a close one. You'd have had to eat in a smooshed cliff bar. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I guess it wouldn't be so bad. Ah! We're gonna die! These t-shirts. And make tie-dye shirts. Boys weekend! <laughs> oh, he did a good shirt. Whoa, that looks good, Mouse. You hippie. Mm, I hope mine looks like this. Look out! That mouse is taking your picture! Ah, I'm not wearing any makeup. Wait, you don't wear makeup. Oh, I don't wear any makeup. No. I don't. I mean, you could. Don't need to. Look at me. Handsome head. Maybe look at a makeup. Ah! ah! This RV is out of control. It's gonna go off that cliff, and we're going to die! Ah! We're the last words of the camping family. <sighs> that story is too scary to tell before nap time. You're right. I'm sorry. Sweet dreams, Dave. Sweet dreams, Casey. Sweet, Sweet dreams, Mouse. Ah!